Hello, my name is Roland Jung from Yvonne, Canada. I want to talk to you about something interesting. We work out together here with Ritel and Yvonne. The manufacturing of your panel themselves. Now, before I actually go in and dig in a little bit about this, like I said, this is an interesting website, and this is really what I want to talk about. Not the engineering side of things, not the sourcing side of things, but really the manufacturing side of things. And what I want to compare it with is this one here. You probably all know these guys, right? They actually offer furniture. Any one of you has ever built one of those? Well, you receive a complete set of documents, but the documents that they send you is not just the final product. It's step by step how to do things. This is a little bit what we do here in the value chain. So when you discover a little bit more, you check out here the manufacturing, we think about the documentation geared towards the building of the panels themselves. So technically inside ePlan, if I want to build one of these two panels, what I'm going to try to do is not just give you, let's say a drawing like this to show you, oh yeah, this is the panel I want you to build and you figure out how to do it. I'm going to go more like this uh, Swedish company try to organize the documentation a little bit more in that direction. So one of the things, of course, that you will have to do is probably for that same panel A1, you will have to cut your ducts and your rails. So for this panel here, as you can see, we have a couple of ducts and rails. We want a list, a cut sheet that can actually precisely tell me, okay, here are the ducts and rails you have to cut. Here are the length. Uh, for each of these ducts and rails, all nicely identified. So this is the first step, right? The second step, of course, matching this would be before I actually hand over the uh, detailed uh, layout on what goes on these ducts and rails is maybe a drill template. How do you organize a drill template? Because remember, each of these components inside ePlan has drill information. We know about this. This is already pro panel. How do I generate this in a acceptable 2D printable view, which I show basically here in this small e-pulse where I have all the drills and the holes. I even have a table like this. We call it a cutout legend. How do I generate one of these? Very easy. In ePlan, you go here under utilities, reports, and you focus right away on the 2D drilling view. What I did here is under the templates, I basically created a new set here. I defied the start block or start page as you can see here right now it's not there I make it EE03 which is my third step building my panel efficient engineering that's basically you know up to you to set it up in whatever format you want how you want to structure your project I did set it here in EE03 and what I do is I pick up a page macro I previously created to actually have the view of my drilling template plus the small table, the cutout legend on the side. Once I assigned this particular macro there, all I have to really do is generate the reports. And based on the template concept of ePlan, for every single panel, you saw two panels earlier, I should have two different drill templates or more because this will actually concentrate on every single surface. Here we actually have the door, we may have the back plate. We have different items actually that are to be drilled. As you can see here, for just one single panel, this one panel, I do have the back plate with all the details. And I do have the other object here, which is the door. For each item, of course, if I zoom in a little bit, let me just make that a little bit bigger. So let's put that aside. Okay, this is actually the result. What I want to see is this table here. What does the table tell me? It actually tells me if the, it's a drill hole. Uh, I can see on the previous page, I can even recognize threaded holes. Now, of course, bear with me, the M4.83 might actually be a North American size for 1032 tap, for instance, right? And then, of course, anything that is just drilled will have a drill hole of six or five millimeter, whatever. And the position here, X and Y, always starts from the bottom left-hand side. Of course, I could go in here and look at the details themselves, and you will see that it actually recognizes the difference between a tapped hole 
here, as you can see, and it recognizes between a regular hole. So if you really want to dig, dig in, this is actually the kind of information that we will forward to, at the end of the day, the manufacturing machine that we have, the Rital Perforex LC or BC. And based on whatever um, tool sets that we have defined here, and the tool sets have to match what is actually set on the machine itself here in the tool selection. So you can have different tools. I believe we this is all configurable here. And this is where you define what exactly goes out there. And it will basically just transfer that information right on a machine and the machine will be ready to uh, pierce the holes or do the threaded holes according to what tool set is there. So that was basically really a, an interesting way to capitalize on ePlan because you don't have to do any extra time. This is information that actually resides inside your individual components as manufacturing data and zero extra time is required. Automatically, this value chain in the manufacturing side here for the drill holes is automatically processed. Zero time design, you can't be more efficient than that. So that was Roland for ePlan and Rital trying to show you how the concept of using here a template can actually help you manufacture quicker and more efficiently your panels. If you like this, I have more videos on my channel. Please subscribe if that makes you happy. Um, certainly makes YouTube happy. And uh, yeah, see you for the next video. Thanks.